Hello guys, this is Raven from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 182. iPhone 13 series launch finally has a date and it is September 14th. Apple has officially sent out invites for the biggest hardware event of this year. Apple fall event will take place at 1 pm EST that is around 10:30 pm IST on September 14th. This event is widely expected to see the launch of flagship iPhone 13 series. This lineup will include iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. In addition to new iPhones, we can also expect to see the launch of the Apple Watch series 7. HBO's over-the-top service HBO Max could go official very soon in India. According to a new report, the Warner Media Studio-owned television network is gearing up to launch its OTT service in India. As per the reports, the HBO will offer three plans in India. Among the three plans, one plan will cost us Rs 69 per month and offers ad support content. Please check out the screen for the new plans and check out all the features about each plan. HBO will offer annual packs starting from Rs 1001. This base annual plan will be on mobile tablet only and allow single stream at a time. Please check out the screen for other details about the plan and the features. Twitter tip jar feature could soon have an option for cryptocurrency. This feature is in development and was spotted by Reverse Engineer, who has shared screenshot of what this will look like when it launches. The Twitter tip jar will use the Lightning network to let users collect their Bitcoin payments. Another screenshot shows that user will able to collect tips from in both Bitcoin and Ethereum and the platform will let them add their respective addresses of their profile. And another screenshot also shows that Twitter is using Strike for Bitcoin payments. Realme GT Neo 2 is expected to go official this month. The design and specifications of the smartphones have already appeared in recent reports. It is speculated that the handset will be available in black, blue and orange colors. A fresh leak that has appeared on Weibo reveals that GT Neo 2 will comes with a special green edition. According to the post, the Realme has collaborated with Mercedes-Benz AMG for the special green variant of the GT Neo 2. The last sized AMG branding can be seen on the back panel of this device. Please share with us your thoughts on this green variant in the comment section below. Realme's Dezo sub-brand earlier today disclosed that it will be launching the Dezo Watch 2 in India on September 15th. This news comes as a bit of a surprise considering that Dezo launched the Dezo Watch packing a 1.4 inch display and up to 12 days of battery life just last month. The Infinix Hot 11S is powered by MediaTek Helio G88 chipset. It will feature a triple rear camera setup and includes a 50 megapixel primary sensor. This phone will be launching in India on September 17th. Yes, a Shift X has been launched in India. This laptop comes with an AMD Ryzen 5000 series processor, 14 inch display, Windows Hello security, and a 59 watt hour battery. Acer Shift X price in India started at Rs 84,999. This laptop is ready on sale via Acer online store, and this laptop will also be available through Flipkart, Vijay Sales, Acer exclusive stores, and other authorized retail stores. LG Electronics might have pulled out the smartphone business, but it is still going strong in every other division. LG Chem now announced that it has developed a new foldable display material that makes screen cover hard as glass but flexible as plastic. The technology used in the process improves both the durability and strengthen any foldable panel as such as phones are becoming more and more accessible. Online retail is shifting from electronics to grocery. About 73% of customers bought products from online shopping platforms in the past 12 months. The deciding factor include product quality that is around 63%, price and product information, return and cancellation policy and product warranty is about 55%. India's internet user base is expected to touch 900 million by 2025 up from 622 million from now, which will lead to multifold growth in online shopping as per the joint report. India is likely to have 500 million shoppers by 2030 as per the report. Battleground Mobile India has entered at the arrival of several new features in the latest post on its website. Game developer Crafton confirmed that weapon skins are now included in the crates and rowlets. It is also said that it is reviewing the possibility of open up the BP shop, adding a voice pack in Hindi and introducing Prime subscription as well as bonus challenge in Battlegrounds Mobile India. Crafton also outlined all the measures it has been taken to detect a ban cheaters in the game. It is said that Battleground Mobile India has a 24-hour security system that automatically bans illegal accounts in the real time.
WhatsApp is reworking on its privacy option for both Android and iOS. WhatsApp large scene may soon get the option to wire large scene from specific contacts. WhatsApp has also recently announced chat transfer between iOS and Android. Xiaomi is testing a new feature called as Pure Mode. Within the MIUI, that will restrict side loading to get rid of all the issues. According to the ITOM, Xiaomi is recruiting internal beta testers from MIUI Pure Mode. This gesture is going to allow the users to block side loading of Android application on their Xiaomi phones. Once enabled, users will not be able to install APKs from unofficial sources and application repositories. The good thing is that you can disable the Pure Mode at any point. Redmi Buds 3 are the latest true wireless earbuds from Xiaomi. Redmi Buds 3 have Apple AirPods like semi in ear style design and ship with Qualcomm QC 3040 processor. Redmi Buds 3 price in China is set for 199 Chinese yuan, that is around 2300 Indian rupees. Samsung has hiked the prices of Galaxy M12 and Galaxy F12 by rupees 500 in India. Both the Galaxy M12 and the F12 have a 90Hz display, quad rear camera and a 6000mAh battery. The only difference between the two is the RAM and the storage configurations. Samsung has already revealed that it won't have a launch event for the Galaxy Note series smartphone this year. However, the company confirmed that new Galaxy Note device could be coming on the next year. The South Korean firm seems to have renewed the Galaxy A, Galaxy M, Galaxy S and Galaxy Z trademarks. The Galaxy Note trademark is notably missing from the list while we cannot say for sure what it exactly means. It could hint towards a Samsung long-term plan for the Galaxy Note lineup. The Samsung might not launch any major Galaxy Note device in the future instead, it could market the Galaxy Fold lineup as a creditable replacement. Hawaii, the Chinese tech giant, filed a patent with the World Intellectual Property Organization for a new method for a controllable foldable display with haptic and sound effect. This recent patent describes a rollable display that wrapped around what appeared to be a futuristic made service devices. This patent talks about a system that describes how this rollable screen can be rolled in and out. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe. And follow DJ Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.